you could not have chosen a better venue for this one. It's the Grand Theater. My name is Todd Grisham. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. Smoking Joe, Philadelphia's. He is. This bound. All the seats have been taken. We're expecting an all-out offensive display. Neither man really defending themselves. Right hand. Not gonna see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You got a swarm on your case. You know you've got to fight. You gotta hold him. You gotta tie him up. You gotta leap. It looks like we're gonna see an early night here. He is rocked. I thought we were going to see the finish there. Open step back for just a moment. Punch, counter punch. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Just when you think they're going to have a lull in the action, we get it heated back up. Just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. That left shot lands. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. the advantage so far but how does this match get turned around you can't leave it here's the bell for round two coming off that fantastic last round let's see if he can keep his momentum going as it is in most heavyweight fights don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over because they're so big because they can push because they've got the weight behind them they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire. Because someone's going to get hurt, and someone's going to react. Left counter scores. Can you imagine if he knocks out this legend? <laughs> Trying to answer back. Keeping those gloves up, the guard high, paying dividends as it seems, but that moment of trouble has passed. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Totally impressed. You know what? You've got skill. You've got... Oh, my goodness. I admire these guys. Frazier survives this. Thought we were going to see the finish there. Good counter right hand again. He blocks the right hook. Do you believe what we're seeing? Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Is in trouble again. Oh, I heard that never bite. Saw it. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to turn the tables in this next. The bell rings and we start the third. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. 
Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Are we about to see the end of an era? Are we about to see Joe Frazier get knocked out? This guy certainly has a huge chin. No, we don't see a knockdown. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? Don't get trigger happy. Because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot. And that's when he catch you. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Is Frazier in trouble? Is this the beginning of the end for this legend? He was in trouble for a while there. It looks like he's starting to get his power back. It appears that the moment of trouble has passed, at least for now. On her right. Nice punch. Nice counter shot. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Catch and shoot. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. There's no way Frazier survives this. I promise you all. Here we go in round four. Who's going to land the first big shot? Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Nice counter punch. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Can you imagine if he knocks out Joe Frazier? Got to do something. Couldn't wait long to get back and get engaged. Is Frazier in trouble? I thought that was going to be a knockdown at least. for both these athletes. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. This has been a very competitive round between these two. Nice job landing with that right-hand counter. There's a counter shot. Lands with the right counter. And he misses with that jab. Both men step back for just a moment. He misses with that jab. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. The perfect counter lands. Beautiful counter punch. He is down big time on the score. Here we go in round five. Who's going to land the first big shot? Coming off a very tough round. Let's see what they do here. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those point areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skin and go for speed.
shake it up, and this fight continues. Somebody's a smart one. Look at that. Look at that. Cool. Stay with me. It's... It's onward and upward after another knockout win here. <laughs> what a shot. What a shot. You see shots like that in the gym. At least for once, this is on TV. Thousands around the world saw that shot. They probably even heard it.